This is the CBS Television Network. Coyotes out there will settle down. I'd like you to meet my saddle pals. First, there's Buckskin Betsy Palmer. <laughs> Next, we have Calamity Jane Meadows. <laughs> and then... Black Bart Morgan. <laughs> and then Wild Bill Cullen. <laughs> and now I got a secret rides again. Western Seeker, starring the King of the Pale Faces, Gary Moore. <laughs> Who is that on it? Thank you very much, and good evening, all you galoots. That's Western, ain't it? All you galoots. And welcome to another edition of I've Got a Secret, a special Western edition, as you can possibly gather. We are very glad to have you with us. I would like to have you... Well, you've already met the panel. I would like to tell you, panel, that you may have noticed that there are some strangers at the tables behind me. Actually, they are strangers only to you. I have met them, and I have enjoyed them. We invited them here tonight to help us set the mood for this, our Western I've Got a Secret. All of these people have secrets. They are related to famous persons whose names have become legendary in Western history. It'll be up to you to guess the names of the relatives. And just to get the tumbleweed a-tumbling, I hope this mic's on the right side, and it is, all right. Let me talk to this lady and gentleman over here. Can you tell us what your name is, please, and where you are from? I am Mrs. Angela LaPointe in Rapid City, South Dakota. And she is from Rapid City, South Dakota. And what a tribe, please, Mrs. LaPointe? Sioux. The Sioux Indians. Now, Mrs. LaPointe, if you'll whisper to me the name of your famous relative, we'll show it to the folks at home. <laughs> now, there is a gentleman here who we shall call Colonel X. Colonel is his right designation. X, of course, is not his right name. Colonel X, if you will whisper the name of your famous relative to me, please. Keeping in mind that there are only a certain limited number of legendary Western figures, I am going to give you only one guess each as to the relative. Now, we will start with Mrs. LaPointe, and Bill Cullen will start at the top with you. What, what do you think could be the name of her relative? Well, uh, seeing her with an army man, uh, I'd guess the sitting bull. got her, but you set him up very well for, for, for Jane. Let me just get behind you here, Colonel. Uh, Mrs. LaPointe, you are what relation to Sitting Bull? Um, Chief Sitting Bull is my grandfather. Your grandfather. Do you act... Huh? Do you actually remember the Chief? How, how old were you when he died? No, uh... My grandfather got killed before I was born. Oh, before you were born. I see. So you never actually knew him. No. Uh, nice to have you with us, Mrs. LaPointe. Now let's go on to Jane Meadows. You're going to have to try to guess the identity of Colonel X over here, Jane Meadows. 
Well, from your hint a little while ago... My hint? Would it, would it have been uh, a general? Would it be General Cusca? That's it. We thought we were being so sly, didn't we? And it didn't last at all. Sir, tell us about, uh, about General Custer. I, there are many conflicting reports about him in all of the history books, and some people say that General Custer, when defeated by a Sitting Bull at the Battle of uh, Little Bighorn... By the way, why is it called Little Bighorn? Ah, uh, that fateful battle was fought along the Little Bighorn River in Montana, near the junction with the Bighorn River in eastern oh, Montana. Oh, there's a big Bighorn, but little, there's a smaller one called the Little Bighorn. That's all right, well, now, many times in history books, they will say that General Custer was acting contrary to orders at the time. Is that true? That's uh, quite a controversial subject, uh, Gary. And to clear the matter up, uh, I'd like to quote just one sentence from uh, the General's orders when he left General Terry's headquarters on 22nd June along the Yellowstone River. It read in part, It is, of course, impossible to give you definite instructions at this time and were it not impossible to do so, the department commander places too much confidence in your ability, energy, and zeal to impose on you precise orders when, which might hamper your actions when nearly in contact with the enemy. And I think that answers the question. In other words, he had complete carte blanche. The yes. headquarters said to him, do what you see fit. And yes, he saw sir. fit to go into that battle. Yes, sir. Certainly. Well, it was a valiant battle. He came out second best <laughs> in a situation where second best is pretty bad. Thank you, Colonel. Thank, Thank you, Mrs. Lapointe. Very nice to have had you both with us. Now, I would like to welcome our next contestant, please. Will you come in, please, sir? Hello. Hi, How are you doing? Good to see you. Have a seat. Oh, thank you. Will you tell... What a nifty-looking outfit. Thank you. This is early CBS wardrobe I have here. I can hardly move it. I <laughs> uh, need a shave. <laughs> yes, my pants need a shave. They do. <laughs> Will you tell the panelists, please, what your name is and where you're from? My name is Rod Redwing. And I am from California. He is Rod Redwing, and he is from California, and he has an intriguing secret. So, Rod, if you whisper it to me. <laughs> now, panel, Mr. Redwing's secret concerns something that he does, and uh, Bill, we'll start with you. Well, uh, no, let's not start with Bill. We left off with Jane. Let's start with Henry, please. <laughs> Oh, he's a smooth one. I want to tell you this. I know how to act Western. There's only one thing you have to know. What's that? <laughs> you know, every time he talks to the lady, you know, he says, well, miss. <laughs> and he also <laughs> kicks dust. Yeah, well, that's yeah, another part. That, yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. quite true. All right, Henry, got any questions? Red Wing, uh, this thing that you do, obviously is not related to your acting, is it? Is it a physical thing you do? Yes, it is. Is it something that you can uh, lift? Oh, definitely. Well, it concerns something that he does. Something that I do. Well, I said physically, and then I said lift, meaning... Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Can you... Con it concerns, concerns... Is it a matter of strength uh, yeah. as much as anything? No. What was your question, Henry? The, your last one? You said... I said, was it a matter of strength as no, much as... No, no, it is not a matter of strength. All right, now we go to Betsy Palmer, please. Well, I'm, I'm afraid that I have to disqualify myself in a way because I know Red Wing. We've worked together in a movie. I don't think I'm sure what his secret is, though. I mean, what do we do? Well, Betsy, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll give you a, a, a quasi... Uh, uh, we'll give you a chance to get off the hook here. You, you stay silent. We'll All go right. to Bill Cullen, and then we'll go to Jane, and then we'll All come right. to you if they haven't got it by that time. Fine. All right? And by the way, uh, Rod, it is not proper to, to refer to you as Red Wing. That's like calling me Moore or calling, uh, calling Henry Morgan, isn't it? Yes, Red Wing is your yes, last name. Red Wing it's either Mr. Red Wing or Rod, either one. Okay? Bill. Uh, Mr. Uh, Red Wing Rod? Uh, <laughs> I never worked with you, but I do think uh, being sort of a Western fan, strictly from observing, I could never get into it. My pants are too long, Gary. I step on it. Uh, I think I know, I think I read an article about you. Are you not considered the fastest draw in all of Hollywood? That's Isn't correct. That not it? Is that That's your correct. secret that you are the fastest? That's true, but it's not his secret. Uh, it's not you once you shot your toe while drawing? Uh, no, I never did. <laughs> it is something you are beside being the fastest. Is it someone's teacher? You teach people. I know that. You, you teach the Western stars how to draw fast enough to make it look good. Yeah! Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Mr. Red Wing, or Rod's secret, is that he teaches movie and television cowboys how to draw and how to shoot guns. Now, uh, Rod, who were some of the movie cowboys or TV cowboys that you've taught? Well, Cisco Kid, Wild Bill Hickok, Kit Carson, Lone Ranger, Range Rider, Tonto, Annie Oakley, Wa uh, Bill Cullum, and uh, Track Down. <laughs> Bill Culp and Track Down. Yes, Bill Culp. And uh, okay. practically all of the big Western movie stars. Uh -huh. Well, I understand you have a prize pupil that you're working with right now. Who, I, who are you teaching to draw? I certainly do. He's my favorite actor and a perfectionist, Marlon Brando. Ah. That old Westerner, Marlon Brando. <laughs> How, uh, how is he? Is he good at it? He's going to be very, very good, and he's going to show you some new gun tricks that haven't been seen in Western before. Well, great. Now, in the movies, you know, uh, Rod, that any time a guy who gets a reputation as a fast gun comes along, then also, immediately upon his heels, there follows some young punk who wants to challenge him. Absolutely Isn't correct. that right? Well, back in the days when I was riding the range in Baltimore, <laughs> I was known as the biggest punk on Bolton Street. So I would like to challenge you now to a duel. Here we go again. <laughs> now, first of all, though, I think it's only fair that you get... Let me get my hat off the spit tune. It seems only sanitary. <laughs> now, sir, if you will, first of all, teach me, teach me a little bit how to do this. Well, you've got to learn how to handle your gun first. Yeah. Like this. Here. Here. Now, first you take it out. Then you no, no, that, that's, that's too slow. Take it, 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 it around, and then you get it in like that, right? Oh, no, 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 sorry. Like that, right? That's, that's correct, but uh, I'll, let, let, I'll tell you what you do. What you it? just pull the trigger, and I'll do the drawing. Now, here's what you do. To draw, you've got to reach for the gun with these fingers after you have cocked it with the thumb. Yeah. The three fingers pull it out of the holster, you point it at the target, and the trigger finger goes into the trigger bolt, and you shoot it. Now, that's all you've got to do. Now, now we... what you do is to put your, pull your gun out. Already? Yeah. Now, we will cock it like that. Yeah. Now, all you've got to do is to pull the trigger. You mean I don't even have to draw, and no, you're going to No, don't draw. No, you don't have to draw. Just pull the trigger. I'll do the drawing. Well, when do I pull the, when do I pull the trigger? When you see my hand move. I see you go for your gun, all I gotta do is pull the trigger? That's right. Are you gonna beat me? I'll try. Oh, you're out of your mind. <laughs> uh, all right. All, well, all I gotta do is pull the trigger as soon as you go for your gun, right? That's, that's all you've got to do. All right. You ready? Have a layaway plan for slow guns. <laughs> you know, this guy's not only a fast draw, he's a pretty good con man. Did you notice? <laughs> he pulls a gun and shoots while he's talking. I was standing there listening to him. <laughs> now, let's, 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 try, let's try it once more, right? Okay. Get your microphone hooked on. I'll try it. I, don't want, I want fair fight now. I don't want to take you by disadvantage, see? Okay. Are right, you standing there? Hands off your gun. I'm allowed to hold mine up, right? You're allowed to hold yours up. All right, you got your microphone on? Yeah, got my you, microphone on. You ready to go on. for your gun now? Ready to go for your gun. Oh, any time that you're ready to go... Oh. <laughs> you beat me that time. I beat Because it. I didn't have a shell. You didn't have so a shell? No, we can... We, you, you played dirty. I you took the shell it. out of my gun. Well, I didn't mean to tell you that. So now let's do it fair and square, okay? Fair and square, fair all right. Square. Fair and square. Fair and square, we'll do it. Okay. Already? Yeah, I didn't... <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Rod Red Wing, great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't come over to your office and laugh at you. Shatner and his wife, Marcy Lafferty Shatner. Zsa Gabor and her husband, Mr. Jack Ryan. George Hamilton and his wife, Alana. Joan Collins and her husband, Mr. Ron Cass. Chuck Woolery and Joanne Flew. Nothing breaks up a marriage like a tattletale. Tattletales, weekdays at 3.30 p.m. Eastern on Game Show Network.
A message from Elvira down under. Crikey, so this is what the sun feels like. Oh, good day, mates. Elvira here. Wait till you have a squiz at what I'm bringing back from Oz for Halloween. It's a bonzer marathon of Who Dares Wins, the Aussie game show of death-defying stunts, heart-pounding dangers, and ridiculous accents. Absolutely awesome. Game Show Network scares and dares with Elvira, an entire night of Who Dares Wins, Sunday, October 28th at 8 Eastern. It'll be a rip snorter. Whoa, now that's scary. You can yell. Come on, Big Bucks! Big Bucks! Big Bucks! You can plead. Come on, come on! Big Bucks, no whimmies! You can scream. I'm gonna get the Big Bucks! But sooner or later, you're gonna realize... Stop! 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 There's no defense against a whammy. <laughs> Press your luck. Every day at 9.30 and 1.30 Eastern. Every night at 9.30 and 1.30 Eastern. Only on Game Show Network. Ever see the look on someone's face who's just won $100,000? You want drama? Watch this game show, The $100,000 Pyramid with Dick Clark, weekdays at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern. Good. You're easier to read than cards, anyhow. Let me go back here and say hello to these good people. Now, again, we have two people here who have famous relatives. This gentleman here, will you tell us what your name is, please, sir? Jason Benson is. Yes, sir, and where are you from? Well, Apache, Oklahoma. He is from Apache, Oklahoma. He has a famous relative, well-known in Western lore. So we will start with Betsy Palmer. And Betsy, pardon, oh no, we gotta tell them who it is. Yes, I'm sorry, I left my brains on the night. <laughs> Betsy Palmer, we will start with you. You get only one guess as to his famous relative. Cochise? Was it Cochise, sir? No, it was not. No, sir. Nope. And now we go to Bill Cullen. I run out of Indian names here. <laughs> Standing Bull? <laughs> It's not standing bull nor oh, kneeling bull. And we go to Jay Meadows, I please. Of, I can only think of Hiawatha. <laughs> All right, Henry's got it, I bet you. Uh, I got it, but it ain't worth a nickel. Um, it's the one they yell when they jump out of airplanes. That's right. Geronimo. What is it? Geronimo. Geronimo. Geronimo was one of the most daring of the Indian chiefs. He completely outfought and outwitted the American uh, army for 20 years. And this young gentleman, who is 99 years old, by the way. <laughs> was on the warpath with Geronimo for two years against the Mexicans and against the United States, winning all the way. Nice to have you with us, sir. This young gentleman over here also has a famous relative. We will call him only Master X. That's all. Now keep in mind that you have met a relative of Sitting Bulls, of General Custer's, of Geronimo's. Now, young man, will you whisper the name of your famous relative to me? He has a famous relative, and we will start with Bill Cullen. Only one guess, Bill. Well, from the way you set it up and that laugh, you mentioned all those people. I'm sure he has nothing to do with them. So I'm going to take a stab at uh, Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple, a Westerner? No, certainly she lives not. in California. I'm going to take a stab at Roy Rogers. No. See? Don't no, Henry? Uh, I'd like to take a stab at asking whether uh, Jane was near it or not. No. All right, now we go to Betsy. Um, <laughs> Good guess. How, how about Davy Crockett? No. Gabby Hayes? No, now, hold it up. That was not right. We've all had our questions. Will you tell us who your famous relative is? Henry Morgan. second cousin whom you have never met. His name is Dennis Fisher. Oh, how dare. Dennis Fisher is who it is. <laughs> uh, 
Henry, if you want to know why we lumped you in with the famous Westerners, it's because Henry Morgan is the only one of our panel who lives on the west side of New York. So I make sure. Sputnik. 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 Skylab. Game Show Network. You can yell. Come on, big box, big box, big box. You can plead. You can scream. I'm gonna get the big box! But sooner or later, you're gonna realize... Stop! 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 There's no defense against a whammy. <laughs> Press your luck. Every day at 9.30 and 1.30 Eastern. Every night at 9.30 and 1.30 Eastern. Only on Game Show Network. Bill Shatner and his wife, Marcy Lafferty Shatner. Zsa, Zsa Gabor and her husband, Mr. Jack Ryan. George Hamilton and his wife, Alana. Joan Collins and her husband, Mr. Ron Cass. Chuck Woolery and Joanne Flew. Nothing breaks up a marriage like a tattletale. Tattletales, weekdays at 3.30 p.m. Eastern on Game Show Network. Ever see the look on someone's face who's just won $100,000? You want drama? Watch this game show, The $100,000 Pyramid with Dick Clark, weekdays at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern. What's your name? Claudia. Michael. Margaret. Oh! Who are you? The dare is to ride this bike. Stick your hand in amongst these rats. Swim from one hole to the other. Enter a seven-story burning building. All that is left to do is to count the cash out. $100. $200 is all yours. Now, that's a good day. That's a good day. Game Show Network. A winner every 30 minutes. Guaranteed. Oh, you're back. Good. I thought you never would come back. Now it is time to meet our special guest for tonight, the king of the cowboys, Mr. Roy Rogers. Well, I see that you were cutting in on my business. I thought I'd be a Madison Avenue dude for a change. <laughs> That's becoming to you, I'll look tell at, you. Look at those, look at there. Ain't that fancy. Yeah. White socks and everything. <laughs> you know what, gonna, are they going to let you in over at Madison Square Garden? I'm Would not going to take a chance. <laughs> Roy is currently over there, you know, with the rodeo. Biggest thing in town. You ought to see it. Uh, give my love to Dale, if That's you will. Role. And tell me your secret, okay? Hey, hold it. How are you going to do that? <laughs> Roy Rogers' secret concerns something that he is going to do, and we will start with, well, let's start with Bill, please. Uh, are you going to do this thing uh, here tonight, Roy? Yes. To us? Or with us? Yes. Uh, is it going to be something with which we're not familiar? I imagine. Oh, boy. Can't be too sure. All right, it's $20 down, $60 to go, sure. we go to Jane. <laughs> no? Roy, does, uh, are animals involved in any way? Uh, yes. Would a horse be involved? Yes. No, I'm going to get up on the horse? Yes. And ride it? 
Yes. $40 down, $40 to go, and we go to a green-looking Henry Morgan. <laughs> well, I want you all to know, if Jane's gonna ride a horse, I ain't worried. <laughs> Is there more to it? Yes. Yeah. Does it involve us? Yes. We have to do that. Yeah, well, that, yeah, sure. Oh. There's more to it? It's gonna kick us to death. <laughs> yeah. we, get, we get prizes. No, unfortunately. We, we get scored on our Westmanship. Yeah, that's right. We, uh, uh, as part of the secret, incidental to it, you will get scored on your Westmanship. But uh, <laughs> that's not the secret. Again, we go to... Uh, Are all four of us going to be on one horse, Roy? Uh, all on the same horse, you mean? Mm-hmm. No. Are we going to learn how to lasso from a horse? No, not tonight. Are we going to Bronco bust? Probably. <laughs> no! Oh, you might bust. We don't know about the Bronco. What you are going to have is a horse race with Roy Rogers here on our stage. Roy, if you'll help me, if you'll help me walk this down, right. here, down stage. Strike the scenery, please. Let me give a mic cord three here. Panel, come on up here. Come on up here. We have got five of, five of the wildest steeds you ever saw. Man in the gray flannel suit. He looks great. You take our Palomino pal over here. Hello, All right. Hello. And, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you which one to get on. Betsy, you're on this one. And you propel it. You propel it by pushing down on the pedals. Put your foot on the pedals and just oh, push down. Not much room here for there a isn't girl. too much, no. Now, Wild Bill Cullen. Yeah. Get you, you, you get over here. I don't like that other one. Now, instructions for, for this, all you have to do is watch Roy Rogers. And you can see. Now, Jane, with your beautiful long legs, you're still going to have to get him up on those. Hook your heels up on him. There you go. Now, uh, Henry, get off for half a Now, we're going we're gonna to give Henry a handicap. Henry, come here. barn every night. They race their customers on us. It's a little difficult, so you, we'll give you a head start, all right? Delighted. Now, here's the course. I go from here, they go from here, all the way down to the finish line, and panel... <laughs> I will count... I will count... Three. watches a western, every western ends with the heroes and the heroines rising into the setting sun. Well, everyone in place, turn your steed around toward the setting sun. It's going to set that away. I'll get my old partner, Paint, here. Can you bring Paint out? Come on, Paint. Hold it.
Hi, and welcome to the show. Coming soon on the 4 o'clock movie. Sunday on the 4 o'clock movie. A soccer scar shape. Turns into a when his mama robs a The wreckage pies are cold. Oh, hi, babe. How was the game? We won 4-2. Four four two. Two. You did? How many of those were yours? Three. Way to go. That's my girl. I, I thought, thought you were going to be there. there. Yes. It, uh, Lynn, Lynn was, was, um, she was, she, she came in late, so I had to stay in cover for her, so that's what happened. Ah! You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Babe, I'm really sorry I didn't make the game. That's okay. I understand you had to work. Yeah. Mommy robbing bank. Sunday on the 4 o'clock movie, right here on Channel 9.